Dr. Amy Guernsey with the University Veterinary Care Center is now joining us by Skype. Dr. Guernsey, good morning. Good morning. Well, we know vaccinations are an important part of a pet's health, but is it common for them to have any side effects from those vaccinations? So yes and no. Um, you, there's always an expected immune response and there's potential for adverse reactions, which are much rarer. Um, if you think about what vaccines are, they're basically um, presenting small parts of actual pathogens to your body so that your white blood cells know how to recognize them in the future. And so to build that immunity, sometimes you'll, you'll get a, a low grade fever. Sometimes there'll be some soreness where the vaccine was given, maybe a little tired, uh, much like if you or I went and got a flu vaccine, you feel kind of gross for a day or two, but generally bounce back pretty quickly. So what else would be classified as an adverse reaction? Sure. Um, so things you really want to watch for following a vaccine visit would be um, any signs of hives, which on animals often show up as little tufts of fur poking up where they normally don't. Um, swollen face, swollen tongue, really profound lethargy. Um, vomiting would be rare, but something to watch for. Um, anything really outside of the norm for that animal, you'd want to talk to your veterinarian about. And are certain pets more at risk for these types of side effects than other pets? Um, if they've shown sensitivity to a vaccine in the past, there's potential for them to do it again in the future. So um, always remind your veterinarian if they don't already have it noted in their chart that they've had some some problems in the past and they may space things out or they may talk about doing titers or assessing their pet's lifestyle, um, whether or not they actually need that vaccine at that visit. Um, Pets that are dealing with other immune problems, so if they're cancer patients or have an autoimmune disease, your veterinarian may opt out of the vaccines for that year. It just kind of depends on their underlying health conditions. And if we notice that our pet may be having an adverse reaction to a vaccine, what should we do to help them? Um, if you have Benadryl on hand, that's often handy to go ahead and give. Um, talk to your vet ahead of time about what the appropriate dose would be. Um, and call your veterinarian because if that vaccine reaction is truly an adverse reaction, you want to get intervention before it becomes something serious. Okay, good information this morning for pet families. Dr. Guernsey, thank you. And for more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to University Vet Care.